back in the day, they often called this cabbage. Why? Because um, it's green, like cabbage. But I think it's really because it's worth a lot to your body. Cabbage is a cruciferous vegetable, a powerful fighter that mows down the bad guys, cancer cells. Phytonutrients in cabbage disarm free radicals before they can damage your cells or even your DNA. So use your head and stash some of these babies and shred them for my simple, budget-friendly Sopa Azteca, a warm, dark broth with a rat-a-tat-tat flavor and an over-the-border flair. Now let's get out of here and get to the hideout. Uh, kitchen, see you later. If you've got 15 minutes to spare, then you have time to whip up my simple and delicious Sopa Azteca, which is a tortilla soup that, believe it or not, gets even healthier as you cook it, and just 272 calories per bowl, which is a whole meal. Start with a large saucepan. This one's already hot. Just add a bit of extra light olive oil, because you can get extra light olive oil really hot without creating free radicals, which damage DNA and are bad for your cells and your arteries. And then saute fresh chopped white onion. Then add three cups of low sodium chicken broth. Here's half a cup of salsa. And here's the whole can of organic fire roasted tomatoes. Then add our food as medicine ingredient, cabbage. So you put your knife in the middle of the cabbage and you just push down. You want to take the core out, which is the part that's hard to digest and somewhat bitter. So you make a V cut like this. Now you can shred it in little thin shreds. Now, just cut it in bite-sized pieces. Nothing that's bigger than the bowl of the soup spoon. That's the rule. If you don't want to chop a cabbage, get some coleslaw mix. It's got lots of cabbage in it. Now, a little bit of shredded rotisserie chicken. You know, when you buy a whole chicken in the supermarket that's already done, you often take off the drumsticks and the breasts and then you have little shreds left. Well, the little shreds can go right in this soup. Then, this beautiful avocado adds some healthy fat. It helps you absorb the lycopene in the salsa, which helps protect you from heart disease. Now, we're ready for the broth. Pour right over the top. It's filling and it's low glycemic load. It raises your blood sugar gently. Top the soup with some shredded chihuahua cheese, traditional Mexican cheese plus some unsalted tortilla chips. You want the bit of crunch in this beautiful filling, really a whole meal soup. And finally, if you like, a little bit of cilantro. Doesn't that look muy bueno? For the complete recipe, check out our website. And remember, the fountain of youth starts in the kitchen. Chatani, may you live 100 years. For Chef MD, I'm Dr. John LaPuma. Learn more about culinary medicine today. Order Chef MD's Big Book of Culinary Medicine at chefmd.com and sign up for free weekly recipe emails while you're there.